everybody, welcome back to a video. Today we're gonna be playing some more Minecraft in our wonderful world of Cowland. Uh last episode we fought the dragon and uh now I have some updates. Uh I did fight the wither, so we have a beacon. Uh it is currently in our base right now, as you guys can see right here. Ow. Um we did I also made some base upgrades. Um I'm gonna go show you guys a time lapse of that because my my editing uh software it corrupted and now uh the video I had planned is now all corrupt so I'm just gonna show you guys a time lapse of me building this thing and uh yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so now that that's done, um, I'm gonna also gonna show you guys a little bit of a clip or like, I don't know how to say this, sort of like a little bit of a mini documentary, I guess, of me fighting the wither, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I got this uh, beacon, it's a fully maxed out beacon down there, we have haste 2, as you guys can see here, haste 2, I also have bad omen, but who cares. So we have haste 2, we can mine mega quick now, insta mine, and with the new uh, update to bedrock, there won't be any ghost blocks as well, so on bedrock, uh, sometimes there's ghost blocks, which means that, example, I mine this, and then it doesn't actually mine properly, it's really annoying, and bedrock is just like that sometimes, so, yeah, oh my god, okay, ow, oh jeez, so yeah, bedrock can be a little bit annoying, but I guess uh, that's what happens when I play this uh, buggy version. But I'm going to show you guys how I got that beacon. In a little bit of a, like a mini documentary style. And then I'll meet you guys when that's done. So, uh, we got all the wither skulls necessary to fight the, dr uh, the wither. And we placed them down, we ran away. And I took out my bow to uh, shoot him a couple times. And hopefully that would be the battle. Just me shooting him constantly and he would die. But, uh, turns out that things aren't as easy as they seem. Um, I thought I dug down deep enough and made a little thing. But, turns out that the wither didn't think so. So, he went straight up and went into the ocean. And now, the wither is stuck outside. Uh, that's not a good thing, by the way. So, I tried to fight him off, but, uh, it took a while. Then I died. Um, I don't know how, but I, I did. So now I try to box myself in, hoping that the wither doesn't, uh, uh, find me, and, uh, I was on one heart, so I try and heal up, but, uh, guess what, the wither does know that you hide in the boxes, and then he blew me up, and then I died again. So I go in with the bow, I miss my first shot, but I hit him again, and now he's blue, um, so, I, he was half HP, he turned blue, I don't know what's happening, but now he's completely immune to arrows so my main strategy is not gonna work and we're gonna have to do something else so now my main goal is going in with the sword but going in with the sword is a little dangerous and you do take a lot of damage so i was gonna have to find another way to fight the wither all right so now my strategy is going in with the bolt very effective because you can dodge his flying attacks and his skulls and this was the strategy that was gonna win me this fight I go in for the final blow on the wither, and the wither is now dead, blowing up in front of my eyes, and uh, he dropped his nether star, the one thing I needed to create the almighty beacon. So on top of fighting the wither, I also did a little bit of work, well actually this is quite a lot of work, on the guardian farm that I was planning to build. This was an ocean monument, and we had to drain all of this. Uh, three blocks down. Originally, I had no sponge, so I had to mine this all out with sand. But, uh, yeah, that took quite a long time. So then I was like, hey, why don't I just go mine, like, go attack another ocean monument? So I went and did that. 
and uh, boom over there that's a little bit of gold farm that I made off camera as well it's pretty good it's but it's a little annoying to reset and stuff so we're just gonna leave that for now but um, today I have some plans we're gonna be working on this little area where we're making this into an actual garden farm it's gonna be quite a grindy process but uh, I think that uh, once it's done it's probably gonna be one of the best parts of our world and then I'm also planning on working on this area this episode uh, we're gonna be doing some terraforming to the top I'm not fully sure yet this is a little slime farm area so I don't know if I want to incorporate this into our base or what we're gonna do here but I sort of want to come up with a plan for this little area. I've had some ideas. I can make like towers and stuff. Or turn this all into like a, a little desert area. But I'm not fully sure because um, it's quite difficult to come up with an idea. Because this is going to be my base. My final base. And so I want it to be perfect. So I'm not fully sure what I wanted to do. I thought I could put like a little volcano there like a mountain and then this could be like a beachy area but i tested out in creative i'm not fully sure it looks a little bit bland so i don't know what i want to do yet uh, i'm still looking into inspirations but uh resources won't be the uh, limiting factor for our build it'll more be creative juices so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a little time lapse going of me working on the guardian farm Alright guys, so we're going to be putting in the water, oops, wrong water spot, here, boom, okay, so that's the water we need, and guardians should be spawning now, and they will fall into the lava, and then die, or at least that's what they're supposed to do, so we're going to hope, we're going to put these in, and hope that it does spawn, so I'm not sure when they spawn, but they should be spawning at any time so down here there's some oh god wait did i just lose my shovel no yeah so there's some chests down here with hoppers and then there's lava in that tube there yeah right there uh, so they fall in through there and then they come in here and they drop their loot in here we have two pods right now active and so currently it's only a there's no XP in here because uh, we'd have to press this one and then they would flow into there. But we're not going to do that because then guardians are just going to be like coming into our uh, nether area and I don't want that. So, alright, so I don't know. I'm not fully sure what I want to do here. I do know that I want to work. I want to make our island look really cool, but uh, I'm not fully sure what I want it to look like yeah so i'm gonna hop into a creative test world and try and find whatever like what i want to do with this island uh we won't be working on landscaping this episode because we already have a lot of stuff we did this episode so i think i'm just going to show you guys what i come up with but if you guys have any any suggestions uh please do comment down uh, comment them down below uh, i really want suggestions on how to make our island look cool but i'm not sure what i want to do with it so yeah See you guys in the creative test world. Alright guys, so we are in a copy of the world. We even have the same armor and stuff. So it's literally the exact same as how we left it. The garden farm is not like that, but uh, that's fine. So uh, I, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with some textures. I'm not exactly sure there are a lot of blocks in this game. And so, I think what I want to do is I'm going to want to test out, um, 
like, I want to do this for, like, a desert with, like, some, like, volcano, like, in the corner and stuff. But I'm not fully sure, so I'm going to just try and test it out, and then we're going to see what that looks like. Alright, guys, so I started making a little sand area here, but I did, I had an idea. So, what I, I think, well, I'm going to explain what my idea is. I sort of want to have it, like, a jungly area down here. So, like, we're going to have, like, a nice, rich forest with, like, uh, rocks on the outside and stuff, making it sort of look like a, maybe like a, like an abandoned temple area, so there's gonna be, like, winding pathways, but then this is gonna be, like, a modern little, uh, bunker thing in the middle, so sort of be, like, out of place, and I think I'm gonna try and work with that, I don't know if I want to keep the outside as sand, or what I'm gonna do, so we're just gonna go try and mess around with that, and so I think I got something going, like, I, what I'm what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna do like sort of like a sand bottom like a beach and then there's gonna be like a big rocky area all around the base and then on top of that it's gonna be that jungly vibe with like greenery and so many trees and stuff and so I hope that's gonna look nice I'm gonna do like a little bit like this area and then we're gonna see how that looks and if I like it we're gonna continue with that if I don't I'm gonna continue looking for different ideas and also looking at your suggestions. Alright guys, so I think this is what I want to go with. Uh, I have some like jungle leaves and stuff, but I'm like this all around the island would look pretty cool. Now I know it needs a little bit of refining, like it's very dark up there in the canopy, but uh, I like the concept. The initial concept, I like it. So I think we can work on this next episode, but um, I believe that's all we have time for today. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please do smash like and subscribe. Uh, I, I really like making these, and if you guys like watching them, then that will make me even more happy to make these videos. Turn on the bell so you guys are notified whenever I come out with a new video. And make sure you guys uh, give me your ideas down below in the comments, because uh, I do need suggestions for this um like our landscaping like tell me if you guys like this or if you guys have any other ideas yeah that's it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video see you guys later and bye oh we hit the ground